Hello, good morning, my YouTube family. This is Dr. Lee, and I'm here to again today with another video. And today we will be doing emptying the catheter and writing down our measurement for the urine that's in the drainage bag. So I hope you can see it here. This uh, scale will be a demonstration according to Prometric guidelines. So for this uh, skill, I'm going to talk to my patient, let my patient know what I'm doing, and I'm going to step out, come into the patient's room, and we will get started with this skill. Good morning, Miss Mary, how are you doing? Hello, my name is Dr. Lee, and I'm here to empty your drainage bag. Would that be okay with you? Fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead on and close the curtain to provide for privacy here. I see that you have a bedside table. I'll just bring this a little bit closer to us so that I can use that. I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll get started here. I'll bring some, a little bit of supplies over and we'll get started, okay? All right. For this skill, I'm gonna get a barrier that I can put on the floor up under the urinary drainage bag. I need a triangular um, clear cylinder to put the urine into. Also need a pair of gloves. I'll gather those things. The evaluator will give you a, a documentation form uh, so that you can document how much urine is in the drainage bag but I'm gonna to go to the patient's uh, chest that's in the room and get, the, get a towel from the linen container if it's not in the patient's chest, my triangular graduate container, and a pair of gloves and a towel, okay? Or some type of linen protector to put under the bag. All right, so I'm gonna do that now. Okay, Miss Mary, I'm back. I'm going to take my barrier, whatever barrier that you have, and put here on the floor. I'm going to put my container here. I'm going to put on my gloves. Miss Mary, I just want to check your tubing to make sure that it is not kinked. When I say not kinked, I mean that it is not bent, okay? It is laying nice, curled up on the bed, not obstructing the flow of urine. Okay, once I'm satisfied with that, I'll come on down. The urine drainage bag needs to be on a part of the bed that does not move. So normally we will put it on the bed frame because this part doesn't move. Never ever put the urine drainage bag on side rails because side rails go up and down. When I get here, I wanna position my container so that I can get the urine. I want to take this little port here out of this little opening. There are little buttons, this, these little blue buttons, put it over the container because you don't want to spill any of the urine. Push the button right there, opposite direction, and the urine will start coming out. You want to completely empty this bag. And hold the port so that it does not touch the inside of your clear measuring container. You may have to move the bag a little bit from side to side to get all the urine out. Once I have all of the urine out, I want to close it and then it slides right back up into that little opening, okay? Make sure I leave it there all clear. Now, 
the urine that I have gotten from the measurement container, I need to measure the urine on a flat surface. If you have a counter somewhere, you can put it on the counter. It needs to stay on top of a barrier. So I can bring it here. And I'm gonna have the measurements that's on the container facing me. This is one method. You need to make sure that it is on a protective barrier. Don't hold it in your hand. At this point, I'm going to get an eye level to read the numbers to see what the measurement is. So I can come down at eye level and I'm seeing 525 cc's. I need to keep that number in my head. Now, if you don't have a flat surface, like a countertop, to put this on to do your measurement, you can close the lid to your um, toilet. Come over. This is a second option. Put your container on top of the toilet. This still puts the urine container on a flat surface. You can get in front of it at eye level, stoop down and read across to determine how many cc's or ml's is in this container. And then remember that number in your head. So I would come here if I'm doing this method, stoop down at eye level, see that it's at 525, I have that number in my head. Now I can proceed to pour the urine out. Keeping 525 uh, in my head. I'm going to pour the urine into the toilet. After I do that, I need to rinse this container out. I have gloves on so I can touch the faucet handles with my gloves because the faucet handle is dirty, my hands are dirty. So I can touch it. I'm going to rinse this container out. The rinse water must go into the toilet. After I have done that, I'm gonna get a paper towel and dry my container. I'm cleaning the inside and out of the container. I'm going to take the barrier that I had and put it into the linen container. I will take my um, triangular cylinder um, measuring container and put it back in the drawer where I got it from. At this point, I want to take my gloves off and wash my hands. So I remove my gloves, put them in the toilet. I'm going to say I'm washing my hands. If the evaluator has told me that I can uh, simulate washing hands, I wash my hands. That will be a documentation form for you to complete. The form looks like this. You must write down what you got for the urine measurement. So under the output section, I'm going to put the time. It's 3.26 p.m. The output type is urine. Amounts, and they won't be amounts in mLs or cc's. I had 500. 25 mLs. I will put my initial VL and then I'm going to sign my name on the signature line below. Dr. Vanessa Lee. Put the pencil down. Make sure before you document on this paper that you have washed your hands. And I'm going to hold this up so that you can see it. 
You must document on this form the time, the output, what were you measuring, the amount, your initials, and your signature. The evaluator will pick this form up from you during the testing. Once I have done that, I'll come back. My hands are clean. I washed it before I document it. Miss Mary, I'm through. I'm gonna go ahead on and open up your curtain. Is there anything else I can get for you? Would you like the lights off, head of bed up or TV on? You're fine. I always wanna make sure that I leave you with the call light. I'll put it right here by your hand and you can call me if you need anything, okay? I wash my hands and I'm through with that skill. So that will end the skill for measuring urinary output from a drainage bag. But I wanna go over something else with you. I'm gonna get this measurement container and I don't know if you can zoom in on it or not, but if you can, that'd be great. With these measurement containers, you would have one side that will say ounces and another side over here that says CC. When you put urine into this container, you always read on the side with CCs. Ignore this side with ounces. If you give me a measurement in ounces, you will flunk the skill. No ifs and buts about it. You have to give me the measurements in cc's. In healthcare, we speak measurements in the units of cc's or ml's. Cc's and ml's means the same thing. So I want to stress that. Always read on the side that says ml's or it may say cc's. That's the side I want to focus in on. Okay? All right, I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to go over with you about this. I don't think so, but if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, I want that thumbs up. Okay, and please, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below. That way you'll get notified when I upload more videos. And mostly all the videos are going to be concerning the ProMetric um, guidelines and things to help you pass your test when you go to take um, your nurse aid exam through ProMetrics. Okay, this is Dr. Vanessa Lee. I'm signing off and I'll see you with the next video. Goodbye.